Om Shanti and a very very happy Deepavali to you. Today's blessing is also given by Supreme Father to light up each lamp in every home. Now this is not a physical lamp but this is a spiritual lamp. If we are cleaning a house, are we cleaning our minds too or not? If we are lighting up lamps, are we not lighting up lamps of love for each other again? Are we forgetting all the bad experiences, bad words which were exchanged and are we exchanging sweet words? Are we the ones who are actually inviting the wealth of knowledge? Are we changing our clothes or are we changing our patterns of thinking, our patterns of sanskars which we have worn for a very long time in our life, which are giving us trouble? So are we going to each other's house to wish them a supreme creator's godfather's light to enter their home or not? Are we giving them good blessings? Are we giving them sweets and good wishes, which will not just feel sweet, but taste sweet to the soul? So are we doing all these things during this Diwali? It is known as a festival of lights. So let's make every house lit up by supreme light. Diwali is celebrated after the Shera. So the Shera is the death of Ravan. Have we killed the Ravan within us? The Ravan or Shaitan? Is that Shaitan still within us or have we killed it? Because the real Deepavali is when we have overcome all the Ravan within us. That would mean ego, jealousy, hatred, lust, anger, greed. If you have overcome all these Ravanic traits, then the real Deepavali has started at your house. The real light has actually come to your house. So may you celebrate the spiritual essence of Deepavali in this 2022 and have a blessed, blessed meeting with your loved ones and give them also this beautiful message. So let's begin our beautiful Deepavali blessing. Let's see what does the Supreme Creator have to say over here. Supreme Father says, May you be a lamp of the clan. So he wants us to be a lamp of the clan. God says, May you be a lamp of the clan. Now which clan is he talking about? He's talking about the clan of those souls who are there who are lighting up every house with the spiritual divine knowledge. So may you be a lamp of the clan who ignites many lamps from one lamp with the flame of love and celebrate the true Deepavali. So for the souls, for your souls to connect the love of your lamps with the one father, one creator, Paramatma Pita, Deep Raj, the king of Deepaks. So Supreme God, Supreme Creator, Allah, Jehovah is the light of us lamps. We are also lights. If we have this divine knowledge, then we also become light like him. So God says, lamps with one father, Deepraj, king of Deepaks, is to celebrate the true Deepavali. So being with him, being connected to him or her, it doesn't matter because soul is genderless. Just as there is a flame in the Deepaks, in the same way, you Deepaks have the flame of love. So God is calling us Deepaks. Our physical body is made out of mud. The earthen lamps are also made out of mud right of clay so he's comparing our bodies to that Deepak and the light in the Deepak is the soul that we are so God says in the same way you Deepaks have the flame of love with which you dispel the darkness of ignorance so we are ignorant about the fact that anger is troubling us ego is troubling us jealousy troubles us first and any kind of impure thought troubles us first both physically health wise and spiritually people ignite earthen lamps on the Pavli, whereas you are living lamps. Living lamps would mean spiritual lamps, spiritual lights. Lamps of the clan and the lamps of Bab Dada's hope. Bab means Supreme Godfather and Dada means the first creation, Adam. When many lamps are ignited from you, constant, stable, unshakable and immovable ignited lamps, there will then be the true Deepavali. Now you see, when it's a windy Deepavali, you have to go around the lamps, put your hands together sometimes so that the Deepavali, the light which you have lit up, doesn't go off. So, in the same way, there are typhoons, tufans, or there are storms of ego, jealousy, hatred, and many things which are going on in the world right now. And many souls are giving up hope. That is what it means when a Deepak or an other lamp goes off. So God is saying that you should be somebody who is actually helping other souls to always have their light of hope be lit up. 
no matter how many storms come to their life may they have the divine knowledge of how to get over ego which has brought that problem how to get over jealousy which has brought that storm in their life how to get over greed which has brought that storm in their life how to get over competition comparison low self esteem and more things in their life which has brought that storm in their life whether it's a health related storm whether it's a money related storm whether it is a relationship related storm it's somewhere related to ego jealousy hatred greed and many negative ravanic dark thoughts and the pauli means to get rid of those darknesses so god wants us to become that and i wish for you to have a beautiful beautiful pauli and for more learning do join us on saturday evenings from 5 pm to 6:30 pm mind you this is only for you and it is to remove that darkness and to really celebrate the real dipavali may you join us and if you have a brahmakumari center close by you do go ahead and do take that beautiful knowledge which is going to light up your lamp forever you see in the other lamp we generally put either ghee or any other oil to keep it lit now that oil is the knowledge the spiritual knowledge even this vardan or the blessing is that oil you can take more oil from sessions on saturday you can take more oil and keep your light on when you go to a brahma kumari center with this i bless you with a beautiful dipavali may you join our family and stay put with the self healing meditation group with this om shanti